And once you've got yourself the image, you pretty much want to get yourself a duplicate. So we're going to press Control and J or Command and J if you're on a Mac. We have a lot of options when it comes to selection tools, but I'd recommend the polygonal lasso tool. Now you want to hold Alt or Option key and then scroll up if you've got a mouse, but if you don't have a mouse, then don't worry about it. You could just use the zoom tool right at the bottom. You just pretty much want to left click once and then go around the object. You can manually add the points yourself if you wanted to. And if it struggles, then you can guide it to make sure it does what you want it to do. I'd recommend having the same settings as me if you wanted to. So if you look at the top of this tool, have all your settings like I have. As you can see, sometimes it gets a little bit confused and doesn't really go on it. And if it does that, then you can press backspace to go back to the previous point and then just re-edit it from there. So we're going to create some manual ones and then just keep going around the object. And then finally, when you get to the last one, you just want to connect it all up and then this will give you a selection. Now, once you've got yourself the selection, we're just going to go over it and make sure that there's no gaps or areas it's missed. As you can see right here, we're going to edit this bit right there. And to do that, you want to go back to the third tool. You want to right click and then get yourself the polygonal lasso tool. To use this is pretty simple. On that line, you just want to hold Alt, make sure the minus comes up. And then when the minus comes up, you just left click on the line and then you select the area you want to take away. You hold Control and then left click to connect it up from there. To add is simple. You just left click, get yourself the line and then hold Control and then left click. This is the easy part. So now all you gotta do is get yourself a mask on your top layer and then you can hide the one underneath it. And as you can see, this is your object. So you want to unhide the background. The next thing is to drag yourself the texture. So you want to get yourself the texture that you're going to be using. So for example, I'm going to be using this one right here and then I'm going to drag it into Photoshop. Once you've done that, we're going to scale this down, make it a little bit smaller. And then we also want to go to the opacity and then turn this down to about 14%. Now to get to the wrap tool is pretty simple. You go to edit and then you go down to transform and then you'll see one called wrap. In the wrap, you'll have your options at the top and then where it says grid, you want to set this one to five by five. Start off with the outside. So you wanna drag these out and follow the curves. So we're gonna keep them like this. Now if they curl too much, you can grab the edges and then you can start twist them back to normal. Next up, we're going to drag these points right here and then put these in these corners right here. Now, if you're happy with it, you can apply it as it is now, but I'm going to add a few more. So you hold Alt or Option key, and then this will give you this option right here to add more. So we're going to add one at the top here. And as you can see, it's added two. We're also going to add one in the middle one right here. And then of course, one in the middle as well. And then these ones, I'm gonna drag it out like so. So once you're happy with it, all you gotta do next is you go ahead and press this tick right here, and then this will apply it as it is. And if we go back to the opacity, set this one to 100, all you gotta do now is unhide the selection that you created. You hold Control or Command, and then you left click on the mask on the previous selection, and then you get yourself another mask on top of that one for the texture as well. And then that will just cut off the edges. And as you can see, it looks nice and wrapped. At the moment, it doesn't look like it's on the actual object itself. So for that, we're going to apply an effect. And if you go to the effects, the one that we're going to apply is called a color burn. And then that will actually apply it onto the image. And as you can see, that is looking really good. We can always check the edges, see what they're like. You can see some areas could be re-edited. So for example, the dark bits, they could be lighter. All you gotta do is just re-edit the mask and make it look a lot better. We can make this more round. So if we get ourselves the pen tool, select this area right here. You want to hold Alt, click on the last one, go around it. We're gonna do the outside first. So selection, get yourself the bucket tool, get yourself a black color and then cut it off from there. Press control D and that's made it a little bit more sharper and better in general. 
And that's pretty much it. That's how you wrap textures onto any object or anything that you want in your image.